Hi, welcome on my Solus GNOME system. As you can see, this is GNOME. And we have um, installed already Sardi icons, which is these blue things, Sardi Flexible. And you can set them with a tweak tool, for instance, a Sardi Flexible Colora. And we've made an Arc Crimson, so blue and red is rather beautiful together. We made an Arc Crimson Dark, meaning there is this Arc theme, which is the standard blue one. Let's also stake a dark one. So this is the blue version of it. Yeah, you have to restart probably, but it gives these blue accents. And if we go, oh, if we go then back to what we just created, that's called our crimson dark. So that's the red version. Meaning, we can have any well new arc theme. We will have three themes, an arc, arc dark and arc darker, but we'll make our own accent. So the blue accent coming from Horst 3180 can be changed. And I've written a script that works on Arch, on Arch Linux, on Arch Merge, and on Targos, and Ubuntu, and Linux Mint. And now we're visiting Solus. So if you want to have this too, there we go. We go to our Firefox, we go to Surf, and we go and we Google for the name, Arc Theme Colora. You end up in my GitHub, which is good. And then dismiss this thing. And then you copy paste this over. So copy to clipboard. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to go to the terminal. And I've already installed Git. Mm -hmm. So I can do Git clone Control Shift V with a space at the right place. So we have now a folder, a folder with all these elements in here. And I think let's do control H. Yeah, it's definitely this one. So this one is the one that we're working on. Let's put it on the desktop. Oh, that's not possible like that. Let's see if I can cut it here and put it here like so. Paste. So how do we proceed? It's actually quite simple. You have eight scripts and this time I'm not going to detail. I've made already uh, three, yeah, three arc theme um, tutorials about this. They're on ericdubois.be, they're on archmerch.com and they're on archmerch.com. So they go into detail what's inside of these scripts. We are just going to run them and, and leave the technical details. Uh, you can check them in the other videos. So the idea is to change the blue color from Horst. We, uh, we built upon his experience and his uh, skill to make an art theme. The only thing we're gonna do is grab these blue colors and change them in a the color we want. But first off, we need to install software to do so. So in installation, one thing is, is figuring out, hey, where are you working on? Arch Linux, Linux Mint, Ubuntu, he says Solos, which is good. And then we install everything that we need, but everything, of course, is already installed. I just did a test run. So he just says no packages to install. Then the GitHub is downloaded from Horse 3180 so that's the, the latest version from him. And then we say, let's, let's change this color. So in installation two, we have a color and the color that's in here is this red thing, this crimson thing. So there are lots of tools uh, on any distro to, to define uh, colors, but there is also just Google. Press a hashtag and then some kind of color. Six things, that's all you need. And then he knows you're actually wanting to define a color. So if you want to define and rarely do that, if you wanted to define a green color like Linux Mint, then we have here copy. We want our theme, the blue color will become a green color. All right, fine, so that's the idea. That's the only thing you should do here, change only this code. So we're gonna get this thing in here and we're gonna say that's gonna be the code. 
that's our green. Save of course. So up here, Control S. Like so. And now we start running all these scripts. So this is the most important one is defining what color do we want. And then it's going to fix everything he can find as, as a blue color. So fix one, fix two and so on. Mm -hmm. Are all defined in this, this script that we will not go into. But we can see it in the other tutorials. But it's plain, plainly put, it's finding blue or some kind of blue variant. And it's going to change it into the color we've chosen green and these are the green colors here that's it next up is like so we are deleting everything that was created for a blue png we don't want blue pngs we want green pngs so we're gonna make with installation for our new codes one moment we're going to wait, um, so the script is going to make all these PNGs based from the SVG that we have just changed from color, from blue to green. And what we'll see in here is that it's going to work very hard to make new assets. So everything is going to be created here, but this time in a green uh, color. So let's wait for that. Okay, the script uh, stopped here and we're going to install number five meaning all the assets have been created new pngs have been created all green and this is the actual creation of your theme it's going to be written in your user share theme so you can actually already take a look there but let's continue because we need to rename it as well so that's the best way to do it let's give it your proper name now, this green thing, I don't know how, uh, an, uh, let's be creative, leaf or something. So, leaf is green, and arch leaf, and arch leaf dark, and, and arch leaf darker. That's what we're going to create. So, you give the name. That's basically what you need to do. And here are the names already. They, those are the names. That's the one you can select later. So. And the last ones are just cleaning up, meaning in the user share themes we have a green version now. So that's now deleted. And if you want to have back the original blue one with the very latest uh, tw tweaks and, and settings from Arch, uh, from, uh, from uh, Arc theme GitHub, then you have it as well. So now everything is installed. You can delete everything here. A nice wallpaper from Variety has just been Camellia 2.8, etc. But that's not the point. The point is, do we have now a green version? So Leaf Dark is this kind of look. And uh, we can uh, change this as well. Leaf Dark. And that's how we can change our theme here. So the only thing we need probably is get more in, in touch with, with the rest. I mean... Uh, get sardi green icons in there and get a wallpaper that's more green and and so on and so on so we get something that looks like a hole you know so um that's it for me so this script can run on solace that's my point and that's just now proven if you like it or not that's up to you but we get all these green accents everywhere in the system you can change this all right, enjoy making new themes.